Yeah, it was six off the game. Um, yeah, I, I think Argentina could hopefully at least get some points, maybe even hidden if they're lucky. I mean, yeah, the match itself is going to be really hard and it's definitely going to be a struggle, but hopefully they can get some points off this. Then we said I'll be back in the quick kick. Okay, um... Do we need rage games? No. I mean, there's a game that's literally called Rage. Does that count? I think it came out in like 2013. I'm not sure about that. When did it come out? Well, I am. I'm pretty sure that we are almost ready for starting this. Like, Guilty Moon is going to be the warm up selected by China. Yeah, you're right, so Rage came out in 2011, not that thing. Still with me. I'm, I'm looking forward to this, it'll give us a good indication of what we can expect tomorrow. Alright, so when they would start. Well, I mean, it's the half hour now, so. Yeah. Shouldn't be too far away. Alright, so those that were almost ready. Alright, there we go. Let's find out how both teams are looking today. First warm up selected by China, it's going to be Guilty Moon.
I could never figure out what Alice in Motion songs were based off. I feel like they kind of just did their own thing, because I could never recognize a bass song for it. Oh, those jumps are really cruel, because they're just in the edge between a hyper dash and a normal jump. Gives you, like, almost nothing time to react. Check those jumps are best jumps. in this new 2012 everything is so hard. God, I wish that were true again. I really wish that were true. Imagine the resurrection of the Toho era when just like every second rank map was so hard. I wonder if it's on making Toho games actually. Check that out later. Well, for now, it does look like we are about three quarters away from the map with the Rory Holly Ron fail. Sorry, Dante having a bit of issues failing himself. But again, this is just a warm up, so none of that really matters in the grand scheme of things. Hey, she like a bad map though. These jumps are a bit cruel, but aside from that, it's not that bad. So yeah, what, what do you think about uh, Guilty Moon, Mr. New Person? Hmm? Huh? We have another person here. Hello. Oh, wow. I understand that. Hello, Zach. Hello, everybody. What do you think of a Guilty Moon? Well, I only saw the second half, but it looked pretty hard. China didn't seem to struggle that much. Yeah, I mean, it was a hard map, but it didn't look as hard as it was, I think. Like, viewers probably see the maps of the finals and they see a lot of crazy stuff but when you see these kind of maps that are probably more crazy because the jumps are split in a way that you cannot hyper dash until uh, into those fruits which makes it really difficult but it's harder to know this because you don't see the catcher going red and everything going nuts I think it's worth mentioning that channel probably struggle on this one a little bit more Baby metal maps have really had a tradition of being easy. In fact, I think Road of Resistance has been met quite a few times now across all game modes. Is this a yep. CHP specific? Yep, it has like is... five versions for Catch to Beat, I believe. <laughs> Yep, oh, we saw the uh, the Force version in the previous match for the warm up, and now we're seeing the Colirons version for this song. As, as soon as the standard version was ranked, everybody on Catch the Beat started mapping it. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Don't actually remember who mapped it on standard. Oh, Monstrata. Okay. Who else? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, intensity is going with an all fail. This map might be too intense from then. Oh, 
Everything's looking kind of good at the start here. Yeah. I'd say Dante misses. There we can see the uh, the score would actually from McKinsey that you keep an Argentina in a pretty comfy lead at the moment. Yeah, because of the no fail from intensity, he has half of points. Corino's spin is absolutely incredible. Not sure that why he has no fail, honestly. Yeah, I don't know why either. He definitely, uh, like, I don't think he'll need it by. Yeah, uh, I, I don't see a team failing this map at all. Maybe it's just reassurance. I think there's only one version of Road of Resistance that might be hard enough to fail. And that would be... CLSWs. Right. Oh, Brazen Shot method as well. Guys, mm. I'm not sure what happened to Dusk. Team struggles. We'll, we'll leave it alone. Hopefully, it'll sort itself out. Hopefully. Oh, I approve of that background. CLSW. I approve so much. I like how China's close to winning. Or yep. close to taking the lead. Well, they had the lead at one point. Well, they were we close to no taking it. We, we, we want no fail, and two players, they are close. Well, Dusk seems to be out already. Well, at least it's only happening during the warm-up, and hopefully not. Yeah, that's always good. Like, a disconnect between a, in the middle of a match, that is really bad. Well, I think it's going to be a little bit harder for Trent to take the lead with a uh, 2v3 and a uh, no-fail as well, so... Yeah, Colin already put a really good uh, combo mark in Argentina's favor, so Intensity was having pretty much the same combo, but he has no fail in, which counts at half. So it will be hard for China to get a lead here in this map, at least everyone in Argentina fails, which might actually happen. It's a warm-up anyways, it's not like it matters too much. Map this version of Road of Resistance, by the way. Call him. Yeah, yeah, it's probably one of version. I would have actually guessed it, considering it's Argentina's warm up. Well, previous time resistance. was Force. Force picked his own version of Road of Resistance in semi finals, and now they pick Colorado's versions for the finals. I wonder if there's more mappers from Argentina who map this song. Doubtful. Well, yeah, I don't think so. Argentina does six. not have a lot of mappers. Yes, yeah, so there's six versions of this. It's run by four CLSW, 666, Quick User, Polyron, and Razor Sharp. Sounds about right. One. I think Argentina has one more mapper. I don't remember the name. Or Catch the Vivid. I think he has a rank of map. Uh, He's not on the team though, I'm pretty sure about that. I think I'm a bit of I'll,
so we're about to end with this map already. The force finding a break over there, almost hitting the 900 combo mark. And this will be a victory for Argentina in the warm up. Intensity with a thousand combo, but with the no fill in, it's not going to make any kind of difference. Worth pointing out that Dante is the lowest score despite uh, the no fail. And that's going to be it. Dusk already with the rolls, going to be a 52. I wonder who will get the first pick in the first ban. Oh, force with a 39. That means first ban goes for Argentina and first pick for China. I had, I had a feeling that uh, China would probably win the roll. Yeah, they really won, so. Alright, well, let's see what we'll get banned out. I'm thinking maybe some harder off a double time here. I wonder what he will ban. I'm pretty sure he'll leave an open this time. I will say hard rock or maybe 10.3 double time times. Alright, there we go, a bit of double time with Sukashi, and there's Sweden Wokos. 10.3 double time. And another double time. It's understandable that Argentina would want to ban double time. Yeah. Especially it's the ones with the, the higher uh, best strength. China, yeah. why? Let's just say China's not the best at uh, the hidden pool. They definitely don't. Like, not only that, Argentina roster right now is favorable. It's in favor of of hidden, so both both times like Argentina banning the double times makes sense for Argentina and against China and China does pretty much the same thing. But they're actually picking a hidden map or no this is no, a this no, is double, this double time. time. This is double time. Yeah this is the other carrier version. I'm kinda surprised that uh for hidden they banned Evil Tech instead of uh the damn stalkers. Because I was shown a screenshot of one of Dust's plays on the damn stalkers, and he looks like he struggles at it quite a bit right now. And I thought I definitely... they would go for playing on the level because no one seems to want to play that moment anyway. Well, see, the thing is, that one's the easiest hidden map out of the whole pool. I get damn stalkers in human machine I'm getting the most. Logic. Oh well, here we go with our best double ever match between China and Argentina. You guys want to go for some final predictions here? Yeah? I don't know. We we'll have to wait and see. I, I I really want to see the match, despite the the result. The song is really catchy, though. I, I have to admit it. I'll have to say it's probably in favor of China. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I'm trying to be a little bit optimistic. Well, either way, it does look like trying to do is have a bit of a comfy lead here. Yeah, they have three full combos. No 100% remaining though. Miss from Force is 
going to be good for China. Intensity being the player from the Chinese side breaking. Oh, and no more combos left in Argentina's side. Every single player missing now, and they had to try again from the beginning. Dusk and Sura, uh, Sakurano are still with the full combos. Yeah, we will and see Fulton and Kodiwa missing right at the break, so they're gonna be pretty low on the combo here, same as Dante. In fact, Argentina completely missing it along with Dusk as well, so I think Sakurano can be the only one with the full combo. At least I'm pretty sure Sakurano has the missed yet. And Tim said he has, like, that's for sure. You saw Colerion just stand completely still during that spinner. That's never a good time, really. It's never Not a good really. time at all. In fact, the thing Dante and Colerion at the moment are the only ones that don't have an ace. Like I said, they have issues. Usually reading high ARs. Like, yeah, I mean, those two are definitely real. struggling with this one. There's no real way to hide it. Although, China is underperforming a little bit, I guess. I mean, they are not doing as strong as I was expecting. Maybe the final of map four is kind of like a they are. Like around a, a decent peak of their. Skill bracket? Maybe. Like maybe I mean, this is where they start to like kind of fall off a bit. Like it makes sense in finals pool, even if you're the stronger team ever, you will always fail down a little bit, but I was expecting at least one full combo from China, like um, or at least a really good high combo. Like the highest here is five hundred and I was expecting something like 800, 700. Mm, and it's still a pretty good combo. And there is yeah, no 800 is. combo. Oh, well, I don't know. Next combo Four is like 740. Dust combo not found. Oh, I got another map in, in my head. My bad then. Yeah, those are amazing scores. I wouldn't okay, say amazing. So do you think good. we'll see some hidden coming out here for Argentina? I think it makes sense. Maybe a no mod. I would uh, expect no mod, has honestly. Been. Without Velper K, they don't really want to do hard rock. And Hen is just a no go at this point, or is that still kind of safe ish? I, I don't know. And okay, it's no mod. mod. Tommy Elegy. All right, trying to bring a little bit of hybrid to the match here. Tommy Elegy, pretty famous song in the standard playfield. Now being picked for the catch the beat mode. I think it's the first time we're seeing this on stream. I think he got banned in the first match and ignored in the second. Alright, well, it looks like we are ready to get this map underway, so... Will Argentina get to score a point here, or will China continue and take this second one? Well, I guess time will tell. I mean, Argentina is looking to have a better chance in the normal bracket. But China is definitely strong, so. Yeah, I mean, I imagine Argentina would probably fit quite a bit better than Nomad. But at the same time, it would make things a little easier for China as well, I guess. I, I, I think it's just this one will probably be a bit closer than the last match, or well, last map. It will definitely be closer, I'm not sure by how much, but definitely will. Like, Dante is having a little bit of issues with this map, like in simple sections, but now we're about to start with the hard stuff, and this is where we will see 
how strong both teams can perform here. Dante having some issues with those jams, but no one else is having. Intensity finding the first maps for the Chinese side. Equalizing a little bit the stuff in terms of combo. First section is done and only two breaks so far. I mean, two players is breaking so far. As we said, uh, I just yeah, do have this like combo button here, so if they keep this going, they should actually take the lead. They are about to DK behind, so they can easily catch up here. There is yeah. more than enough time. Go lead, I'm not too sure if that will be enough, or they will need a lot of time in order to recover. There's still half of map remaining, but you never know, it's hard to tell. Dusk is still with 100% though, same with Force. Oh, there goes the miss from Dante, and now China has advantage again in terms of combo. Connor on finding a miss over there, that's a huge one for Argentina, but Sakurano from the Chinese side as well, just at the same time. Still leaving open the chance for Argentina to come in back here. Now it's Force against Dust, and Force still holding the 100%. Force already droplet a drop it. Oh, drop it a droplet, I mean. And client, please. Kind of. I think maybe takes a lot of hard to Is that another disconnect for Dusk? I hope not. I hope not as well. That will be a really big impact to the game. Because he had the best score for the Chinese side. Now our Trigina is taking the lead because of it, but a miss from Force over there. Battle no against the VP. In Argentina's favor. Oh, Dante failed. The intensity breaks his combo as well. Well, Dante's gonna section. at least survive. Yeah, definitely. Like, that was the hardest section of the map. It's understandable that like, you fail on that. But he has enough time to recover. He's still not alive yet. Well, yeah, it's a slow part right now. Yeah, he will. Yeah, he's almost oh. there now. Argentina has a short lead, though. But because the dust points are oh. still there, and there you go, there is the disconnect. And it seems like Argentina will take this point if no one fails at the end because of the dust disconnecting. Yep, that's probably wonder, gonna be Argentina's point. I wonder if China should go for a replacement on dust because that's two times already that he disconnected. Like, it's a big shame to not have your top player in the team, but. It's better than nothing to have anyone else. Yeah, I mean, if he's going to be in, it's not going to be any way beneficial for China if he keeps disconnecting throughout the matches. They have a third person online who can replace him at the moment, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have. Yes, yeah, you can tell, Dusk is not online, so... Well, looking at all the other matches we've seen so far today, it looks like it was always Dusk intensity in Sakurano, so... That might not be a good thing. Alright, there we go. Seems like he's back already. I wonder what they will go for now. Is he back? Well, he is online at least, but he's not on the room. I feel like he should be here soon, then. I'm hoping they can pull him back in. Hopefully. It's gonna be a huge issue if they can't. Well, 
Where is Nugging Crystal? No idea, buddy. They need some It's not this good. Yeah, so it's interesting saying he is online. No, he seems to be online, but... Whether he's online or not is not the issue. They can't get him into the room. It has so many players right now, why right? there's no one joining? Like, they have Kagakamine, they have Pistol. Like, it's not sure. that late either. Yeah, they're not joining either. Yeah, so this started at Team 30, so it felt... Was Liam that clock in China? Well, that does look better, but it does stack in the room. So that's a, that's a bit of a relief for now. And straight away, he's going to go for uh, Yuki Toki Realism. My PC dislikes it. Oh, well, this is the last double time remaining. Yep, that it is. It seems like the um, network from Dusk is now stable. Hopefully for the Chinese team, no more disconnects will happen. Yeah, um, at the very least, there's no match up for this one, so that's, that's something. We're not going to be hard enough in more matches, which is always a good thing. And it's kind of expected for them to go back to double time. Yeah, there's no really a big reason for them to pick something else. Although after this, they're gonna have to. Yeah, that's that's the thing. But Good. I can rock. see Hard Rock. Yeah, I, yeah, I think we'll go Hard Rock. That's probably their best bet right now. That being said, what do you think about this map deck, just in general? I get to do this one a lot. I think it's the easier double time. Well, I kind of just accepted my fate, but I'm not. Well, that I wasn't useful for much aside from hidden. <laughs> I mean, I suppose at least practicing one break it's better than practicing all locking anywhere. But it does look like we're going to see some misses coming up from Dante, Sakurano, Kirimu, and Force. Yep, only Dante. Oh, and um, Colibon as well, so in case you just be the only one with the full combo. Dusk is still holding 100% though with a full combo, the drop from intensity. It's going to be a big drop for China, but no one in Argentina is catching up anyway, so they don't really have the chance to get it back, even if Dusk misses. Great wall of dusk. Dusk is doing fantastic. As always, I mean, it's kind of expected that dusk is just gonna perform really well. That's a big rate of bananas. <laughs> But yeah, as we said, the first year of this map does look like China are in quite a bit of a lead actually. 13, 1.6, 1.4 million, so nearly 600k from Argentina. This is looking to be a really dominant game from China here. Not looking yep. good for Argentina at all. Even without dust full comboing and intensity catching up really, really well, they still get the point. Like, 
Argentina best combo is from fours and it's 400 and that is the lowest combo from China. So here's the worst really part. Hard. Both Dusk can solo the entire Argentinian score and so can Intensity. Well, that is a warning, I guess. <laughs> not good for Argentina at the moment. Definitely not. At least China has no more double times remaining. That is something. But Argentina needs to win their own in order to force a tiebreaker. And it's going to be a hard task. Well, I mean, that's not a point, so I, I'm pretty sure they can be happy with that despite the way they got it. Yeah, I mean, you always aim for the best. If you won once, you can win twice. And if you lose, well, it's fine. I guess that's why Ar that's what Argentina is thinking right now, the players. They are like, just we're trying to do our best. We know that we are lacking a bit of players. And we just got knocked out from the winner's bracket, but we're just having a little bit of fun trying to do our best, maybe give a surprise. All that being said though, what are you getting in a pack though? They've kinda got their backs to a wall. I think the only real thing they can probably go for is no mod, and even then. I will say Ui. Oi, Oi, or whatever you want to call it. If not a hit, a hit and it's okay as well. I just love to come to Oi. Oi, we want that map. It's one way to look at it. Oi, we just won. Oi, we lost the point. Oi, they picked something. I really want them to pick it now. Alright, looks like they're gonna... Okay, so they've got 30 seconds to choose their map. So, what will they go for? Do you reckon they will go for Oi? Or do you reckon they'll... Completely pick something yeah. completely different. Okay, put it again. Okay, there's still no more. This one's gonna go in China's favor. Do you think this is in fact China's favor today? Yeah. I think the problem is a lot of the takes are in China's favor. Did Intensity just switch out though? Oh, he's not here. We do have Crystal though, who yeah. haven't been stuck around his place. And Nagi! I'm surprised that I don't see a Tinsy playing this. I'm surprised it didn't stop either of them up with Gus. Especially after just the disconnection problem. Alright, well here we go with our fourth map, Perth, again. We do have a bit of a 
nice uh, Chinese lineup change as we did mention. We now have Dust Nuggy and Crystal instead of Intensity and Sakurano. So let's see how well they do. Yeah. Okay, first miss goes for Dusk and Dante. Yeah, I mean, the uh, first miss coming from Dante is not too surprising, but an early miss from Dusk? Really? That's probably more of a surprise, actually. That all being said, Dante is going to miss again, and China are going to take about a 30, 40,000 point lead here, so it's still not too bad about it, according to the way into the map. We still do have both Nagi and Crystal in full combo with Dusk, not too far behind, along with Force and Collier on this. We're both holding on to that and pressing the list, so... Argentina are still in this, not out of it just yet. If they can just keep that combo going, I suppose you're going to make you go this point. Hope so for a miss from one of the Chinese players, but we're getting pretty close to halfway through the map, and China's looking pretty good, sitting on a nice, comfy 100,000 point lead. Yeah, about 120,000 point lead, so it's looking pretty good for China here, actually. Do you think uh, Argentina have a chance to take this point if they can keep the combo going? Or do you reckon China's just not gonna miss? We have to wait until the hard section that is about to begin. Oh, yeah, that is the big hard one. I actually think that this section right here might be harder than the ending. Yeah, I think it is. Like, you have to be a lot more concentrated because you have to move and stop all the time. Yeah, during the, during the whole ending, you just hold dash and go back and forth. Yeah. Well, so far, Dag is missing, Dusk is missing, Monitor is missing, Force is now missing, Crystal is the only one holding, Dante missing as well. Dante is completely dead at this point, he needs to recover, and Crystal is still going with 100%, oh well, Well, not Dante anymore. just revived, yes, but it's did. not going to matter at this point. Yeah, no, doesn't fail happens at the end, which I don't think will. I think Crystal even is just going to fail, to it's not going to make a difference. Oh, what? Oh, oh Crystal failed! Well, let's he see if better revive! Oh, no, he's doing it! He oh, failed. Dante he failed. failed, so it doesn't oh, even Dante matter! Oh, Dante as well! Force is being close to die as Nagi well, Nagi failed! failed. But Rock it doesn't matter! Well. China what wins was regardless! That what was that end? That end was a fail, and with that, we are going to be moving on to Hard Rock with Egoistic Shooter. Alright, Hard Rock is going to be... Like, even with Dante surviving that, I don't think that was enough. But that was a little bit of a surprise for China. I'll say they have to practice that map a little bit more if they end up qualifying into the next stage. Because that kind of fails are something that you cannot afford to have. Um, while they won, uh, China won by 306,263 points, Dante got 161,364, so, even if Dante had, um, hadn't failed, they still would have been a win by about 140,000 points. Yeah, as I, was, as I was saying, even with Dante, they were a little bit far behind. I think they only would have lost if in, if uh, Crystal had failed. Yeah, that was definitely a fail, no matter what. I really like this song. One of the tracks that I enjoy from Lisa. I mean, that was picked up pretty fast, so hopefully we should see these players ready up relatively shortly. But I have actually noticed something uh, throughout this match in particular. Um, we have been seeing like double time and stuff. We haven't actually been seeing many people throw a head on top of it. 
Yeah, many people avoided the hard rock pool. I, I think we saw only one hard rock pick so far in the tournament. I mean, the tournament, the finals. No, it's not just that, like, because obviously with double time and hard rock, you have free reign over if you want hidden or not, but it just seems like teams don't seem to want to take the extra risk anymore. There have been a few people that have picked it up, I think mostly in the first match, but outside of that, it's been. We haven't seen that much additional hidden picks. As you can see, there's no hidden at all this one. Okay. And we do actually. I think it's worth mentioning that um, Sakurano and Intensity are back in place of Nagi and Crystal, so. It's kind of expected to not see any hidden when both of the teams probably aren't confident at it. I don't think we saw much during the South Korea and US match, though, as well. That, that's the thing I'm getting at, is even in both games it hasn't been much of that. We picked, oh. well, actually during our match we each picked Hidden. No, I mean like as an additional free mod. Oh. Oh, All right, Dante almost failing there actually after that miss. Um, yeah, three. Hard Rock is not something that they want to play at all. They cannot read AR10 with a lot of comfortableness. Like, they're not comfortable reading it. And Intensity no. finding a drop over there is going to help a little bit Argentina, but I don't think it will be enough by any means. Dusk is still holding 100%. Horses isn't holding 100%, but I, I'm pretty sure he's still going strong with the full combo. It just seems oh, to be as you say, oh, yeah. as you say, everyone drops over there. Korea is the only reason because Argentina stays alive. Nice day. Because despite <laughs> that, Dante and Force are in fail status. I don't actually know if Force has failed. I think he is still alive. Well, he's alive now. I can tell oh, you. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's definitely alive. I don't know if Dante's actually revived yet, so it's still looking pretty good for China, who. Okay, so he does did miss. So he does not have that full combo, which is a bit of a shame. I did see Sakurano send the full combo back up to send the 100 combo a little while ago. Just working on his 300 combo. Color and Dante still trying to get back up to that 100. With varying degrees of success. This is definitely not looking like a good Argentina map. Yeah, at least he's been striking a lot as one kind of said earlier. This AI yep. just does not agree with him at all. Like. It can happen that someone fails on the Chinese side, but I don't think that will be enough either. Because Dante's not reviving, and even if he does, he has less than 100,000 points. It's pretty much forced everything that they have at this moment. And as I say this, this is going to be another point for China, and they will be leading 4 1. It's time for Argentina to pick now. I think they can only really pick no mod. I think anything else is just too risky. Yeah, maybe hidden, but that's pretty much the same thing we said at the beginning. It's pretty much just an uphill battle. Oh? What? Did my eyes deceive me? I'm thinking the same thing. What is actually is, is going that on? Is that a shred of hope we see in chat? If that's true... Is, is there some hope we see here? Say, so, I, I, I gotta ask, by the way, what do you think about Sacred? Because it is like one it. of the hidden... Really? No. Well, I banned it. 
Do not That's like That's a fair it. point, sorry. Bad map? Okay. I like Ursa's mapping in general, but I do not like Sacred. I hate that map. I'm just gonna oh, I'm just gonna throw that out there. Okay, let me try this again. Do you think it's potentially something that we could see here, or would we be more likely to see Damstalker? I don't know. I I I don't think it'd be a very good idea. I'm just trying to look at what else they could take outside of Gnome Mod, because if they get into Gnome Mod, it's not going to do much in the long run. Yeah, and there's Dolphur K joining in the Argentinian side in place of um, Dante. I would like to say hi, but I won't. It is still looking kind of grim. They have a better chance now, but it is still 4 1 up and trying to out. Kind of dominating, so. Basically, it's still an uphill battle. Yeah. But we are going to continue with No Mob with um, Chronox here. Well, this is a really well fitted song, though, for Welfare to come back. The spider, whatever I think about it, or anyone thinks about it, it fits the theme of perhaps someone that will come and help you to win. We have to wait and see though, Argentina definitely has a better chance now, but it's too early to tell, and they are 3 points down, so... I guess they are up for the challenge, but we have to wait and see. I want to point out that this is the third time it's been faced in the three mates to the team, so... Okay, so it looks like uh, we are getting ready to start this next map. Let's see how well this player swap will change things. Alright, yep, there we go. Map should be, or map should be starting very shortly here. Alright, well here we go with what could potentially be a maybe sort of comeback. Can barely hear you there, buddy. Anyway, it does look like trying to have a bit of a early lead here, but with the miss from intensity, this is going to give the lead back over to Argentina, who did have a bit of an early drop from Collieron, I believe. And Collieron also failed, so there's that to go off, which is definitely not what Argentina want, but it does look like he has recovered quite nicely, but at the cost of trying to take the lead back off. So yeah, this is still looking pretty good for China. I mean, I'm, they've still got one full combo left after Kakamine and Ren. I did not actually notice that Kakamine Ren 02 had actually joined the room. First time we have seen him this weekend. Seems like someone will get punished here. 
Yeah, this is rather disappointing. Yeah, I think with that, this is probably going to be a extra point for China here. So, uh, five, four, yeah, about 500,000 points a here. Dusk's still looking pretty good. Was, he didn't get the fourth combo. point. No, because they're already on four points, so this is good them their fifth. Oh. Yep, so there we go. 5-1 to Argentina. To China, not to Argentina. 5-1 <laughs> to Argentina hype? It will be cool, definitely. Let's just swap the scores around and see what happens. But you know, sorry, that is 5-1 to China. And I believe it is China's pick as well, so that is a good position for them. They get to pick what could potentially be the winning map. And yep, that looks like we are going to be seeing Dante rejoin as Dusk actually picks Sacred. Zach, your thoughts? I don't like it. That's all I can say. <laughs> And bye. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so we do have Kakumino Ren swapping back out for Crystal, and so that will make up Dust Crystal and Intensity. Okay, so Dante is back now. Yeah, I'm going to take it back. So we're almost back to where we started at. She's the only difference is instead of um, Sakurana, we've got Crystal. That's like quite a bit of hype in the chat. Comment to hear you like so far away. Yeah, we are aware of that. We are fixing. I should also quickly say before we said it is kind of bold for um, China to pick Sacred after actually banning out Yumoshima and Ivo Pick, so. Well, the main reason for China banning those is what they're specifically weak at is low AR hidden. They're that not exactly like actually. hidden in general isn't their strong point, but they can at least do uh, like AR9 plus hidden pretty well. But then once it goes to like AR8 and AR7 stuff, they start to really struggle. Like you probably noticed it uh, last year during the grand finals with uh, China versus Korea when anytime they did hidden, they would just not have a good time at all. Okay, so this might be doing a little bit of an issue with Dusk saying that intensity can't actually ready up. So hopefully once that is fixed, we should be good to go. Try getting Tensu to rejoin the room. At least that's what I'm guessing, judging from what um, Dave is saying. Seems to be a little bit of multiplayer lag. I've had the same situation where I wasn't able to ready up. It safe. He's still. Hmm. Yeah, that's just a case of lag. He needs to get out of the room so he can rejoin.
Yeah, there we go, he's gone. Okay. Hopefully he should be back in very shortly and then we can continue this match. Okay, okay, so it looks like he is back in the room. That, that was a time of okay. Yeah, that was, that was like perfectly synced almost. But yeah, it doesn't look like Intensity is back in the room, so we should hopefully see this uh, getting underway very shortly. Would be nice. It was uh, an interesting match, I will say. Like, it had a little bit of everything. Let's just say that. Whoa, Bancho is not working properly. Alright, it looks like we are ready to go. So, do you reckon this will be it? Do you reckon this will uh, be the 6 1? Or do you reckon it's gonna <laughs> go to 5 2? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's the first time we're seeing a hidden map, so it can go anywhere. I'm expecting 6 1. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm expecting the, the 6 1 as well. I want the 6 1 to continue just because it's a lower bracket spree. I think I played this map. I'm not gonna expect the 6 1 in the next match, though. That would be amazing. It's gonna be Korea versus China. At this rate, yeah. Yeah. That will be a match. I think at the same time, like, there are a lot of people who are kind of expecting it just from looking at the matchups today. Unless, of course, Argentina suddenly turns things around. Hashtag Indonesia once again. And then lose a tiebreaker. <laughs> That was insane what happened last week, yes. Yeah, it definitely was. Like, let's be honest, it should not have happened. Yeah, it, I don't think it would happen even more now without I'm looking at this match. Like, at this map being played at this moment, three full combos for China, and only one good combo for Argentina at this point is from Force. Yeah, I mean, Force did miss a little bit early on, but he, he's had his combo since then, so okay, well, no, he has He was hard. <laughs> Even with that, they're all they're all struggling pretty hard on this, especially Koryon. Koryon is having a lot of issues with this one, indeed. And there's no more combos in the Chinese side either, so... I think it's also I, worth I, mentioning. Zach, I can kind of see why you just like ban hammered this now. The main reason I hate the map is because of the ending. Ooh, I cannot wait. Nice little staircase. I can't actually remember it, because I know I saw it when it was um, showcased last weekend, but I don't actually remember it anymore. It's funny, I actually have a separate uh, difficulty just for the ending, and practicing I never hit it, but then when I did that one difficulty just randomly, I hit it. Oh, the blind rock. There's that part. Everybody pretty much missed. Yep. No more combos remaining and no one is going Here to go. fail. That means China will be facing South Korea for the place in the top three. China and South Korea both hitting top four and whoever wins that match will enter into the top three. And that match shall happen tomorrow, right? Yeah, okay, so 
because South for South Korea and China won, the next match will be Sunday, nineteenth of June, twelve p.m. UTC. The next match after that will either be at 1 p.m. UTC or 2 p.m. UTC. At this point, I don't know. The only thing I do know is that it will be against Germany. It will be 1 p.m. UTC. Like, 1 and a half p.m. UTC. Yeah, 1 p.m. or 2. No, no, because it is, it is South Korea or China who will face Germany, and that match is always scheduled to be 13 UTC. And oh, you know, so yeah, you're right, that is it. Yeah, they can only be 1.30 p.m. UTC. Okay, so yeah, we've got 12 p.m. UTC, South Korea, China, and then after that will be 1.30, which will be the bronze match. Yep, between Germany and the got winner it. of that match. Yep. All right, a few more things to quickly mention before we close up. Um, team bands are still on sale if you guys do want to go pick one up. There are still a few teams left, so if you have not yet bought a banner and you want to show your support to one of these teams, head right over to the store and pick up a banner. They are, they're pretty nifty. I quite like them. The other thing before we close is I'm going to do a quick bit of plugging because we do actually have an OS Talk interview coming up tomorrow, Sunday 1700 UTC. Hey. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just quite a bit of hype because this one is a little special. We're, we're kind of interviewing this one guy. You, you might kind of know him. He's called the 8 bit drummer. Yeah. So, yeah. We kind of somehow got him. If you guys know who he is, I'm sure you're excited. If you don't know who he is, check his Twitch channel or his YouTube channel. He's a really good guy. He plays the drums, if you were wondering. Yeah, he, he's, he's, a, he's a drummer, drummer. But yeah, so there will be, we're also moving to Discord, so I'll have a Discord invite link in the um, the discussion thread, in general discussion. Should be yep. good fun. Definitely will be. Um, so we will remember you guys tomorrow. I'm pretty sure you will find out more information about it in the thread of the OS talk. You will find out in the general discussion. Uh, section of the forums. Yeah, so... I'll probably update the thread with like who it actually is because at the moment it's just a bunch of question marks. I'll put in the Discord server invite and I will probably remind you guys tomorrow after the Germany vs. whoever match. So, with that, we will be signing off for today and we will see you tomorrow for China vs. South Korea. Have a good one, folks. Okay, bye.